I love the Vepper rifle in 762 by 54 Russian made, excellent. 762 by 54 is such a powerful round. And you know, it comes with two five round magazines. These are Russian magazines. They don't count toward 922R compliance, but they're fine with this configuration of rifle. But I wanted something with a little more capacity. But I heard a lot about the SGM tactical uh, 10 round magazines. And there was a lot of good things said about it, and there were a lot of things that were bad. Mainly that it wouldn't fit all 10 rounds into the magazine. And so I got on Carolina Shooting Supply, ordered a couple of them just to test them out. Uh, this is made in the USA. It is, uh, counts for three parts for your 922R compliance, if you're going to change your rifle. When you're limited to five rounds and you double that with a 10 round magazine, I mean, it just gives you a lot more capacity for this rifle. It does hang down, and if you're gonna do a lot of bench shooting, it's great to retain these. Uh, you know, they're great little magazines. These are Russian made, uh, but these are no less quality. SGM Tactical has really done a great job in manufacturing these magazines. I mean, you can tell that they're very high quality. Uh, they are US made. They do count for three parts for your 922R. And uh, they are injection molded polymer. In fact, it's a glass filled polymer. So it's really strong. Uh, it's going to hold up very well, very durable. And the interior is very slick uh, to allow for, you know, really smooth feeding and function uh, of the follower in the magazine and the spring. Really easy to disassemble. Just press down this little uh, button, pull your plate off. Hold your spring because it'll come loose. Um, springs are coated for resistance. These will be uh, weather resistant and they're made to be pretty slick. It's a little bit of a longer spring according to SGM. Uh, the interior is slick. I mean, it's been, it has a nice smooth finish to it, whereas the outside has a little bit of a texture to it. Uh, makes it easier to grab and, of course, with the ribbing. Uh, but, you know, just a great little magazine and uh, for the money, a lot of times when companies come up with different parts and things, you know, you, you're not really sure about it. And that was one of the things, you know, that I was really just going to test it. They just slide right back in and just bring your base plate down and pop it in and you're ready to go. Uh, the feeding on it, of course, is what it is. I mean, with the rim case, you got to press down and push in. Um, loading up the 10, mag to 10 rounds was really easy. Uh, again, I did have some people that had said, well, you know, I can only get eight rounds in mine and all this other stuff. And so, you know, after doing all the tests, I never had any problems uh, getting these rounds in. Uh, we've shot probably around 400 rounds of 762 by 54 through the rifle, zero malfunctions. And uh, they just fed consistently well. So I think that this is really going to be a good option if you want to extend, you know, the uh, capacity of your magazine, of your, of your rifle, and then uh, it does, again, add three parts, 922R. Now, I had some difficulty finding these magazines in stock. Uh, looked quite a bit. Uh, actually, I bought my Vepa rifle on AIM Surplus, and uh, they had these listed for $41.95, and then um, I even got an email notification, but I haven't heard anything, and it's been about six weeks. Uh, so I got on Carolina Shooting Supply. They had them in stock, um, and I got two of them. They were $49.95, so I paid a little bit of extra. I uh, also bought my G2 Trigger Group for the Vepper on that same website. So it seems like it's a really good source if you're looking for AK or Vepper parts, and uh, they have a really quick ship turnaround. So uh, check out Carolina Shooting Supply. But they do have 20 rounders listed, but those are out of stock, and uh, when those come in, I'd like to pick up a couple of those as well. There's quite a bit of difference between the 10 rounder and the 5 rounder. Um, and heard a lot of reports the 10 rounder wouldn't work, but so far it's been doing fantastic. Because of the rim on the case, you have to load it a little differently. Just fits in and slides in. Definitely gets a little more tension when you get up to the last couple of rounds, but not really excessive. There we go, 10 rounds, ready to go. Using Red Army Standard, and uh, this is great ammunition. It is still cased, but it's non-corrosive. Imported by Century Arms.
just stay tuned we're going to be doing a lot more build options for this rifle a lot of upgrades and i'm really excited about going ahead and getting the stock on here and the four arm on here and just really update this so the sgm tactical 10 round magazine for the vepper thumbs way up now while i give it a thumbs up if you've got something else to say or another experience just list it in the comments otherwise thumbs way up be strong be of good courage god bless america long live the republic really can't even use these unless you're nine okay that's just horse. I mean SMG is really about the SGW so the SGM 10 round tactical so the SGM tactical magazine <clears throat> long live the Republic no that's not the Star Wars Republic you know to the Republic for which it stands <laughs>